Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex, and today we're gonna take a closer look at themes and styles of CS Card. Let's begin! Themes and styles are located at Design – Themes. In the Themes section you can choose, install, upload, delete and customize themes and styles for your store. The page is divided into three parts – current theme at the top, installed and available themes below, and general information to the right. First, layouts and styles available for them. A layout determines the general structure of the storefront, while a style serves as a decoration for the structure. That's why we usually have one main layout and several styles for it. By the way, the default widget mode layout is used for building stores. Next, we have two buttons here – Theme Editor and Edit Content on Site. The Theme Editor allows you to create your own unique style for a storefront with just a few clicks. Content editing is used to change the names of interface elements, products and pages on the go. Let's take a closer look at these features. Clicking the Theme Editor button will take you to the storefront where the Editor panel is presented. By customizing default styles with this tool, you can create an unlimited number of your own styles. So, General section. Change the favicon and choose whether to round the corners or not. Logos. Change the theme, mail and gift certificate logos. Colors. Change the color of almost every element of the storefront. Fonts. Tweak fonts for different storefront groups. Backgrounds. Set a background color for different parts of the storefront. Custom CSS – Advanced style setting in CSS format. Change this only if you know what you are doing. After you made changes, click Save and save changes as a new style for the layout. The default layouts cannot be changed. Well, that was a brief description of the theme editor. Let's use the second button to edit content on site. In the on-site live editing mode, you can see the storefront and all the editable interface elements are marked with a dash line. To edit an element, hover the mouse pointer over it and click the appeared icon. Change the value of the elements that appears in the editable field. Click the tick button when you are ready. This way you can edit language variables, products, images, categories, pages, banners, storefront logo and some settings. Moving to the second part. The tabs below are used to switch among themes and styles. The first tab is for the installed themes. Every theme, as you have already noticed, can have several styles. When you change a style, the theme the style belongs to is automatically applied. To change a style, just hold the mouse over it and click Activate, or use this style. Styles can drastically change the look of the storefront with just one click. After that, you can still proceed with your own customization. The Browse All Available Themes tab. Here you can find deleted and uploaded themes. To the right you can see the general information about the current theme. There's the theme name, directory where the theme is placed, the number of layouts and styles, and the theme developer. Here you can also see the Rebuild Cache Automatically selector. Click on if you want the modified files to be cached on the fly. Besides all that, use the plus button to upload new themes and the gear button to clone the existing themes. So, that was a detailed overview of themes and styles in CS Card. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card video tutorials.